Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris and today we have an unboxing for you. As you can tell by the stylish tape right here, this is a Novrich gun. And what gun is this, might you ask? Well, I mean, the title's gonna say it all because this isn't a mystery unboxing and I don't have a knife. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. This is the SSP-1 CO2 version. And ooh, look at that. It comes in a nice little, nice case. This box weighs four pounds, by the way. Now, um, real quick, when I, uh, I was gonna order this gun probably about a year ago, and I did, I placed the order, I waited like three or four days, and then I canceled my order because it was still on pre-order, and it would have been like months before I got it, so I decided, eh, I'll cancel it, and I'll just wait. So, I didn't get the gun then, I got the gun now, because it was, I didn't even realize, I was just gonna buy it and wait however long I needed to, but it literally arrived in like three, four days, which is crazy. Opened it up, ooh, okay. So automatically, first thing we got in here, we got the gun, we got some nice nice protective foam. So the gun's right here, like I said, encased in plastic. We got a little Allen key, which is obviously the most important thing in this entire package. We're gonna take that out, it's a beefy Allen key too. I assume that's probably to screw in the uh, the CO2 under in the mag. Tool, fill valve, fill valve. Fill valve and exhaust tool right there, which I don't have any experience with, so we're gonna mess with that. Oh my god, dude, this thing is heavy. This thing's a beefcake. Oh my god, holy crap. I did. I, I knew it was kind of heavy, but I did not expect it to be this heavy. But as you can see right there, we have a little bit of oil residue on the gun, which is nice, so hopefully it's been properly oiled before coming out. Mag's got some weight to it. We got the nice purple seal right there. We got the exhaust. We can slide. So let's see. How does this work? So I assume, all right, yep, so you push that down, the little cover slides off, and that's where you're gonna be accessing the CO2. Pretty simple, pretty standard, and let's see how, I always have problems with guns where the thread doesn't catch, but it looks like, oh, that caught pretty easily, perfect. It always makes, uh, I remember my 6R um, X5P226 had an issue where it the thread just did not align whatsoever, it was just such a pain in the ass, or sorry, a pain in the butt. I have to now watch my swearing, because YouTube does not, Put that back there. Mag is nice and heavy. We're gonna go ahead and slot the case. Like that, and let's check out the gun itself. So without the mag in it, the gun's actually fairly lightweight. Has a little bit of rail wobble, which I didn't expect. I expected it to be a little bit more solid on the rail, but with that being said, it, the gun does feel solid, and let me tell you, it fits my hand perfectly. This is a comfortable gun, because I got, I got kind of big hands. I don't have huge hands. A can, okay? My hand to a can, I'm about, I have can hands, okay? For me, this gun slides right in there. So you have ambidextrous safety switches on the side, which is beautiful. I wonder how quickly and how easily I can tear down this gun. So with no assistance from any tools, I was able to tear that down pretty quick. The inside is completely nice and lubricated, and by the way, I know it has nothing to really do with it, but purple is my favorite color. So just the fact that we got some internals in here that are purple, I don't know a whole lot about pistol builds. I know a little bit more about AEGs and stuff like that, but I'm not I'm not the most well-versed when it comes to uh, everything that goes on with a pistol. It's something I'm still kind of learning, but I haven't tinkered around with. All I know is that purple is my favorite color, and we got some purple in here, which is lovely. Tear down, but obviously some parts are gonna be a little bit, a little bit stiff right now, because it is brand spanking new. So uh, I will say that one of my M9s has a much faster tear down, but uh, again, it's news. I don't think I really like these really thin, like finned safeties. They're really kind of small. It doesn't ever really feel like it's snapping fully into place. Maybe it's not. But I gotta say, dude, when you throw this mag in here without, this doesn't even have a CO2 in it, because I, I assume, because with all the different sealants and all the different, I assume with every with all the mechanics going into this particular magazine, making it really gas efficient, or rather CO2 efficient, that it's got a lot of, a lot of inner workings inside this mag, uh, coming from someone, again, pardon my ignorance, but this magazine itself weighs like two pounds, and then the gun weighs like two pounds. So when you slash these together, the gun immediately goes from like, yeah, this is comfy, and then it goes to like that. So I cannot wait to have this thing on my side. Hopefully my holster, hopefully it'll fit my 1911 holster. I don't I don't think it will. I think it's a little too big for that. So I might have to get, I might have to get the Novrich uh, pistol holster, honestly. But one thing I, I one thing I want to note right off the bat is uh, the amount of uh, texture of the grip that goes on. Most pistols I see usually have it just on the, on the uh, cover right here, but he also has it right underneath the trigger mount, underneath, uh, underneath the trigger plate. 
so you also have you have a full circular grip all around the gun. Everything just kind of falls right in place. Let's go ahead and test the mag release. Just one press, mag falls right out and just literally broke my hand because this mag weighs so much. Now it's like this. Locks back because it's empty. Slide forward. Beautiful. Every action performed as expected. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Everything works flawless. Okay, so it's like really cold outside right now. It's, it's not super cold, but it's really cold enough to be doing this. It's about 20 degrees Celsius right now. So we're going to go ahead and try to shoot this gun for the first time ever. Just loaded the mag, got the CO2. It's all fresh, brand new in there. Like, like I showed, I'm using 0.25 gram, Elite Force Grand BBs and... I'm using Valken Tech uh, CO2, so mag's loaded, gun's chambered. Let's go ahead and get a couple initial shots. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh. Oh, okay. Slide lock back. Interesting. Two shots in, the slide locked. That is punchy, dude. That thing is vicious. Dude, it's so fucking loud out here. I mean, it's winter, so it's going to be echoing a lot, but it is so loud. I can hear echoing like like 800 feet out. Holy shit. That's how much we shot. Right, I'm going to go. All right, so the way the mag, when it snaps in, it doesn't really sound like it clicks. It just kind of like, it just kind of like stays like... I don't know, all the other mags I use for other guns I always feel like they have like a really solid snap. Like, yep, you're, you know, secure in there, but I have to like feel it to like, okay, yeah, the mag's in. So let's go ahead and. Woo! Yikes. That's beautiful, dude. And out of the box, I'm going to go ahead and test the long shot right here. Dude, out of the box, this thing is dead accurate, at least 100 feet out. Okay, with the way that the lighting is today, it's like super blown out, so it's really hard for me to get a good, this is the best I can do for the uh, actual chrono shot. Okay, so I have it set for uh, 0.25 gram BBs, like I said I'm using, so we're going to go ahead and throw 10 shots down the chrono. So it looks like we're averaging 281 FPS, which means there'll be no problem for any kind of CQB field out there. A max of 301 and 266 minimum. So, yeah, no problem shooting this thing close range. But the, what's amazing about this is how low that FPS can, can be and still get that nasty range when playing. And like I said, these are with 0.25s, so I'm probably gonna be end up using 0.3 or 0.32. I know, if my, I'm sorry if my vo voice sounds weird, it is freaking cold, it's getting out colder by the second, I'm freezing my ass off. Um, I'm gonna be probably using about 0.3 or 0.32 gram BBs, which means that FPS is gonna drop just a little bit more, but it's still gonna get that nasty range, and it's really not gonna hurt that much when you get shot by it, so honestly, I'm impressed. I like a high FPS. I love high FPS. It just, you know, it just makes everything feel that much more well-rounded. Consistency is key when it comes to airsoft. You need to be accurate. Otherwise, the FPS means nothing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do a quick range test. This is going to be a little bit different just because of all the snow. I can't really do my targets that well right now where I am. So we're going to do a range test. You guys see this stump right there in the middle, okay? But we're going to be aiming at that stump. And I'm going to be standing at the far end of the garage right behind me. And that distance should equate to about 100 feet, roughly. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can see how, how accurate of a shot we can get. Okay, so first off is the good old-fashioned can test. These used to be a staple on my old channel. Now I want you guys to remember that this is hop-up unadjusted straight out of the box. So, And also I'm probably not the best long-range pistol shot. So we'll see how accurate I can be. It's also really hard to see because, you know, I'm in the garage where it's dark and out there is light, so it's really kind of hard for me to see. Plus, when I'm aiming, I'm honestly trembling a lot because I'm freezing, so not exactly the best accuracy test, but it can hit it. It can definitely hit it pretty easily. Okay, so as you guys can see for this next test, we have an egg and a sandwich with three folded envelope sheets. 
<laughs> Don't ask me why. So for this test, I'm gonna be shooting from the mouth of the garage, which will put me about 20 feet closer to where I was before. Okay, so the gun is starting to run out of CO2. Um, <laughs> there's a BB stuck in the bread. Um, the gun's starting to run out of CO2, and I attribute that to the cold, and obviously um, just using it. I've gone through about three or four mags worth of shots. Uh, given the temperature and the con just the general conditions, three or four mags worth of ammo is about right around 90 to 100 shots which I think is fantastic. It's no joke guys, it's cold out there. You can see my hands are a little bit red right now. And uh, what did I say? I think I said it was about 20 degrees out there. Uh, let me check to see what the actual temperature says. <laughs> Cause it is, it feels colder, which is definitely a thing. 21 feels like 14, right there. 21 feels like 14. <laughs> so what do I have to say about the Novridge SSP-1? Uh, first impressions without using it in a game and just doing some test firing. Uh, I have to say that when it comes to comfortability, give that a solid 9. I think it's a super comfortable gun for me personally to hold because I have decently sized hands, of course. Weight, I'd get, I'd <laughs> I do want to you know, let you guys know this gun clocks in at like three pounds when you have a full mag in it. This, this gun is heavy. It's nice. It's comfortable. It's cozy. And it shoots like a fucking missile. It's beautiful. I love it. I really love it. Now, keep in mind, this is all opinions from somebody who hasn't used it in a game yet. But I do plan on running this as my primary secondary. As my main secondary gun. I have the holster on the way right now. It should probably be here maybe tomorrow or Tuesday. And I'm going to be running this because... I have not, I've gone through handfuls of pistols, multiple, I've gone through maybe six different pistols and only one has ever stood out as being reliable and that's my KWC Umarex 1911 for a hundred bucks. That gun has always treated me well. I feel like this is going to be the main gun that I run. I'm not going to need to run any other secondary besides this, honestly, if it, if it works as well as everybody says. Literally not a single person has ever said in comments of mine on Instagram or video reviews that I've watched, not a single person has ever said this gun sucks and I would not recommend it. Not a single person has ever said really anything bad about it to make me f to make me feel like it wasn't worth getting. So for a, for less than what it costs to get a non-upgraded high kappa, I'd say this gun's worth it. This gun retails what, one one thirty five on Average's website, ten dollars shipping typically in the U.S. for most places. <laughs> for straight out of the box, I haven't adjusted the hop or anything. This thing kicks ass and I can't wait to use it. So look forward to that in the future. I'll definitely be posting some videos of me using this in a game. My, I showed my dad, who's a avid gun person, and he snapped up the sights and he was like, holy shit, he's like, those sights are beautiful. My dad loves the sights on this gun and I do too, I do too. They're super easy to find your target, they're super easy to line up and they're just so smooth and natural. So I don't know, it's, it's a wonderful gun and I'm stoked to use it, so. The only gripe I have really about it is... No, nothing. <laughs> maybe the weight, maybe the magazine could be lighter, but I understand that all of that is due to the upgrades and due to it being so gas efficient. Like I said, I got nearly 100 rounds off this in 15 or so degree weather right now, which you can't beat that, and that's CO2, of course, but you can't beat that, so. Thank you guys again for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video. Check out my gameplay. Later.